Okay, so shalom everybody. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Golan Heights. We're in Kibbutz Merom Golan and I have a special person with me today. His name is Moshe. And Moshe, do you know what we're going to do today? Go on quad bikes. And do you know where we're going? To the volcano. You heard him, volcanoes and borders. So stay tuned. We're going to give you a little bit of a taste as to what it's like to do an adventure trip here in the Golan Heights and to see places that very few people have seen. So welcome to a historical journey in the footsteps of who we are. Ready? Yes. Give me five. Let's go, guys. Follow the journey. All righty, Team Michelson. Let's do this. We're heading for the hills. Yes, Moshe, we're ready for a historical view. So here you can see we've gone off-road and we're heading east in the direction of Syria. Ah, oh, there we go, yes. Well done, Moshe, you've spotted a centurion tank. And now this is where the tour becomes exciting. We're dropping down into the volcanic pipe. In front of us, we can see Mount Bental, and we've been on the higher mount called Abital. And here it is, friends. That is the volcanic pipe where the lava spewed out and created this magnificent geological landscape of the Golan Heights. Now we're heading further east into the agricultural fields. Okay, we've now reached the agricultural fields of Kibbutz Merom Golan. And what do you see next to you, Moshe? Do you have any idea what's growing here? What did you say? So these are vines for growing grapes. Here yeah, we will see, we're going to be driving right past them. Have a look at those divine fields. And it's a very successful kibbutz with agriculture. But now we're doing something that very few people can experience. We're coming close to the Syrian border. And have a look at these army barracks. This is going to give us a feeling at what was here prior to the 1967 Six Day War. And check this out guys, we're going in. That's a teamwork. We've got some good drivers, trustworthy drivers as we go through this adventure zone. So Moshe, one of the advantages of doing a tour like this is we get to places where most people do not go. We're actually entering a demilitarized zone, which is called a DNZ, which means we're close to the border and we're just about to see something which is fascinating in understanding the history of the geopolitics of the land of Israel. So come with us, we're gonna take you into a building which you can see in front of us now. You can start thinking about what you're seeing, but there is a heavily fortified building in front of us which predates the Six Day War. And this did not belong to the state of Israel, but this was definitely in the hands of the Syrians. I will tell you briefly, this was firstly built as a military hospital, but later, this was actually the headquarters of the Syrian military echelon here on the Syrian Golan Heights. But in order to understand it, Moshe, you're gonna come in with me and I'm gonna take you to a room which will really reveal to you the historical significance of a building here today in the state of Israel on the Golan Heights next to the Syrian border. So you excited? Great, let's do it. Hello guys. Look, you can see a big lock. That has a big, that means a big key. Exactly, and the key will be here. We'll unlock the history of this significant place and we'll finish off by understanding that this lock actually tells us the story about a very important spy. Another nice thing about taking a tour is you get a nice ice lolly on route. There you go. All of our Matagolan, all of the territory that we're in used to be Syrian controlled. All the way to the Jordan River and to Yaukinere, the Sea of Galilee. Okay, up we go. 
Uh, this building was actually bombed five separate times. So just look above us. You can actually see where it was bombed from above. But the building still stands, so it proves to you the strength of this building. And our walk is now going to take us right to the end of this passage. Okay friends, we've made it to the roof. And this is the view that it affords you. And in brief, I'll just let you know that we are standing next to the Syrian border. Ahead of us you can actually see a United Nations post, a UN post on the Syrian fence line. You can make out the fence line and in front of us the ghost town of Old Cunetra. Those are remotely controlled high-powered cameras. Okay friends, here we are on the second floor in this very important room dedicated to Ellie Cohen, the spy that gathered intelligence for the State of Israel between the years 1962 and 1965. Here he is with his wife, Nadia. And this is a photo from the trial before his public hanging on the streets of Damascus. So friends, a place to come and visit, a place to get connected. It's time for a run. Okay, time is of the essence. There's so much we can do. And there's so much more we can still see. So stay with us. And we'll take you back to the kibbutz. And we'll unlock that key with a psalm. Psalm 83 speaks about the enemies of Israel. But no, the enemies have had no victory. We're back in the land. Great driving, guys. Okay, friends. Very special spot here. Next to Mount Avital and Mount Bentel. Here you can see a sculpture of Nadia and her children. Moshe, yeah, stand there. Okay, so in the description, I'm going to add Eli Cohen's son's bar mitzvah speech, which you can read and still connect with the sculpture, hoping and waiting for Eli to return. Shmuel! Yalla. Chabal al Azman. Yes, sure. Right, Shaka, thank you so much. Of course. So My awesome. Pleasure. Yeah, Shaka, thank you. Okay, we've arrived back to where we started. This is the Kibbutz Hotel, Merom Golan. Check out this horse. Hello, guys. I hope you liked the video. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Moshe. Yeah, guys, we hope you enjoyed the taste of the Golan Heights. Here we are next to this incredible artwork, Yuf de Jong. You can come and check out his stuff. Anyway, I hope that we managed to unlock that big lock that we saw and gave them a key to taste the Golan Heights. But we want to encourage all of you, take a trip, come and enjoy the Holy Land, learn about its rich history. And what else? Anything else you got to say, Moshe? Did you enjoy that? I hope you liked it and I hope you watch our next video. Bye! Peace out. Ah, hang on. Remember to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.